Hey guys, welcome to another level two algebra viewer question. Um, I am back now just working on some questions and videos over the holidays. So if you do have any questions, uh, feel free to drop it to my email or any of the socials listed in the description below. All right, so let's get started with this question. Uh, basically, this question is all about setting the equation. I think most of the algebra ones are like this, but this one more than ever. So I'm going to try and break it through one step at a time, all right? So the first thing is that the dealer bought X number of mugs for $270, all right? So we don't know what the cost of each mug was. So if we're going to write that, so we can actually say that each mug, uh, it'll cost 270 divided by X because it's $270 is for the total number of mugs that he bought. Uh, and if we divide it by X, we're going to get, that's what each of the mug actually costs. So that's uh, line number one. The second point is that he wanted to make $5 profit on each mug, all right? So remember, that means he has each mug and he wants to make $5 profit. So this can be written as 270 over X because that's what each mug cost plus five. So this is what he's selling um, the, the mugs. But he, and then it says, but, it, but he only managed to sell eight at this price. So that means this is the price that he's selling it at. And he's managed to sell eight mugs. And then it says the rest he sold for $20. So he actually, out of X mugs, so he bought X mugs, right? He sold eight. He sold eight which means the remaining number of mugs is going to be X minus eight is remaining. And this remaining number of mugs, he sold it for $20. So we can actually say 20 times X minus eight, because that's what he sold it for. Now, and then it says, find the two possible values of X could be given that the dealer made $30 profit. So now the next part is, we have is this part here whatever he sold those mugs for eight mugs for whatever price plus the remaining mugs that he sold for twenty dollars so these two blue things when you add it up he's actually made thirty dollars profit but remember if he's actually made thirty dollars profit that means he sold it for three hundred dollars and the reason he sold it for $300 was because he spent 270 and if he makes $30 profit, then that is how um, it's going to equal to 300 So basically, this is what the equation actually looks like. So we're going to write it up here. So we've got 8 multiplied by 270 over x plus 5 plus 20x minus 8 equals to 300 and I think this is the most challenging part of this whole question um, because once you get this here then you can kind of start working away at it so I'm going to expand the brackets so I'm going to get 2160 over x 8 times 5 is 40 uh, plus 20 x minus 160 equals to 300 so getting rid of my numbers in the left hand side I am going to get negative 120 equals 300 and I'm going to take the negative 120 to the uh, right hand side which means I'm going to end up with 300 plus 120 and you can see that it's starting to kind of form a quadratic equation here so you got 2160 over x plus 20x equals 420 now, I want to get rid of this x in the denominator. So what I could do is I could multiply every term by x. All right, and so when I do this, what happens is in my first one, uh, I've got the two x's cancel out, and I'm left with just 2,160 plus 20x squared equals 420x. So now I want to rearrange this so that everything is on the left hand side, bringing the 420x across, 
I'm going to get this and I've got plus 2160. All of this is now equal to zero. Now, as I can see, 20 is a common factor. So I'm going to take out 20 as a common factor. I'm going to get x squared equals 21x plus 108. 108 times 20. Yep, that's 2160 equals to zero. And at this point, I can get rid of the 20 because when the 20 actually goes over to the right hand side, it becomes zero divided by 20. So that's just going to be zero. And I've got x squared minus 21x plus 108 equals to zero. So at this point, you can actually put this in the quadratic formula if you are not comfortable with it. But um, I mean, I kind of know the times table. So I see the pattern of x minus 12 and x minus 9. That's equal to zero. Therefore, I can say that x is equal to positive 12 or x is equal to 9. So that ends up being two of my answers. So yeah, so that's basically how you do this question here, guys. Um, as I said at the start, it is just setting that equation up and it's translating that words into equations. And if you notice the way I've kind of broken it down, is all almost wrote it down as statements first. Um, so you can kind of see at the top there, I wrote it as statements and then like slowly started removing those words to come up with an equation and then work from there. All right, cool. So that's basically it for this question. As always, guys, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and of course, subscribe to keep up with the latest content. If you have any questions, drop it in the socials below and I'll try and get to them. There should be some revision uh, playlists popping up. Check them out. Um, it's good for you. And as always, thank you for watching.